You're not always going to break through your barrier the first time. Okay? Sometimes it's going to take a few attempts. Okay? Sometimes it takes not getting through, but not giving up. And that's what you have to keep in mind. You guys, everyone's going to be faced with problems. If I went around this room, even with my younger audience, okay, and I asked Mark, what have you accomplished? What was your toughest challenge? You probably have a list of them. But maybe there's something that you, man, what's your name? Carol. Miss Carol. Maybe Miss Carol has already gone through what Mark's going through today, and vice versa. And we can learn from that. I'm a firm believer that there's no situation you've gotten yourself into that you can't get yourself out of. And it's important to remember that. We subscribe to the five C's. I like to call it a fistful of ideas. Five C's, okay? C number one is conflict. Who here can relate to a conflict? Maybe you had a conflict with a coworker. I know some of us have worse, so I won't go too far on that. Maybe you had a conflict with a teenager. <laughs> I've been through that. Some of us have a conflict with the boss. Some of us have a conflict with a neighbor. Some of us have a conflict with a car that won't start in the morning, right? But conflicts are something that we all face. They're going to come. Get used to them. The trick is just like the potato. It's seeing past them. You don't stop at your barrier. You got to see past them. So that's one that we're going to be talking about. The second one is centering. What do I mean by centering? Centering is your wellness as a whole, okay? A lot of people, when they hear wellness, they immediately think, oh, wellness, physical, I want to lose weight. That's good, that's good. I'm proud to say I lost 70 pounds. I'm happy to say that, and I'll tell you how I did it, but that's one way to look at wellness. But there's also mental wellness, right? There's spiritual wellness. Some people like to pray alone, some people go to church. Some people like to write, read, or paint. There's a number of ways you can find your center, but it's important to recognize that understanding center keeps you well, it keeps you balanced, and that's an important one. This third one right here, confidence. Who can relate to confidence? You're very confident. You know what confidence means to me? Confidence means believing that you can do what it is you set out to do. Well, let me give it to you another way, Ms. Carroll. If you don't believe in Miss Carol, why would anyone else? Before you can do something, you have to believe you can do it. The first decision in doing anything is making the decision to do something. You have to decide, whatever it is in your life, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but the very first step is making that decision to do something. Does anybody in here know the definition of insanity? The definition of crazy is doing the same thing every day and expecting something different. You can't. Which leads me to my next point, which is change. Change is a tough one for a lot of people. I used to be in the car business. I started in the car business right after I put myself together. I was around 19 years old. And by the time I was 21, I was managing my first dealership. And I can't tell you how hard it is for a 21-year-old guy to get an older than 21-year-old guy to buy into what he's trying to tell him to do. You have to be careful with how you approach me. How can I walk into a dealership my first day and tell someone that's been there 25 years how he should do things? It's difficult. And you don't want to start that relationship off the wrong way. So how do you do it? How do you show someone who's been doing something the same way every day, expecting a different result, how do you show them that changing it can give it to them? And we'll talk about that. And the last thing, the last thing right here, is something that's gonna solve 80% of the barriers that you're gonna face in your life, and that's communication. Communication is key. Have you ever had a situation where you had, I don't know, I'm a dad and a granddad, Maybe you had trouble communicating with one of your children or your grandchildren. Maybe you had trouble communicating with your significant other. Some people don't like to talk about that, but I'm going to tell you it's important because what you don't let out stays inside and eventually you're going to implode. If you're concerned about your wellness, feeling good, 
keeping your nerves steady. You need to be able to express yourself. And you need to be able to tell people not, not what you expect from them, but what you're willing to accept. My daughter's older now, but when she was growing up, I told her, I said, Victoria, I don't expect you to be perfect, but I'll accept you trying your best. And we got along really well at that point. How many of you found yourself in a situation where communication would help you? 